Hi guys, how's it going today? That was super creepy. That was creepier than it needed to be, but what is going on? You, uh, what was my favorite one ever? Urinary stash infections? We'll go with that one, even though we've done it a couple times, but that was one of the better ones. And uh, yeah, I'm not really sure how well you can hear me because my microphone's in my hat for no reason. I'm wearing two pairs of glasses for also no reason, but I'm sitting in my office, so that must mean one thing. We're doing a mean comments video? No, actually we're not. Those always get demonetized and I don't really care about that. I'd still make more, but for some reason, YouTube is like blocking all my mean comments. I even switched it to like allow all comments. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure if there's gonna be any more mean comment videos. I know you guys love them and I like making them, but I don't know. Maybe people are just nice on the internet now. No, that's impossible. But anyway, we do have, there was one asshole, what did he say? It wasn't even that mean, but we'll just do like one dickhead of the day. I don't know if we're gonna do it every video like uh, old dad does with his MF for the day or whatever it's called, but. So there's a video I did with Boo and I called everybody stash perverts, I believe, but it, it I explained it, I, I explained it because like literally like two videos before somebody commented and said they wanted to drink Boo's bath water and some other weird shit. So I just called people perverts, but this dude watched the video like a month later and he was like, he says, that was messed up, dude, majorly. Who the hell says that? Why wouldn't you say like majorly messed up? Or you have to comment and put it at the end like that. I'm 59, still can't even type a damn sentence. I'm 59 and only the third time I've watched your video. So has he watched this video three times? First time I've seen a girl. Okay, so he's watched multiple. Call the older gentlemen perverts that watch middle finger. If he, if he isn't a pervert himself, then why does he care if I call him a pervert? It only hurts if it's true. But anyway, we'll stop there. Supposed to be taking like a week or two off. I, th I, I think I needed it kind of for physical and maybe a little bit of uh, mental things, but uh, I, I, I can't I can't stop working. So I'll throw this one in the mix of the two weeks off, maybe as long as I catch something, but we're doing we're doing something easier um, um, than normal, even though nothing I do is actually really hard. My job's super easy, but I don't I don't really like doing challenges. Hate me for it if you want, but I think they're a cop out and I think they're stupid as shit. All the like Walmart challenges and stuff that nobody ever really catches shit on. <sighs> Don't get me started, but there's one thing that you guys have been requesting a lot of over the years and I've never done it in my whole life. God, the lighting's terrible. Hold on. Not much better, but you guys have been requesting fly fishing for a very long time and I've never done it. The only time I ever did it, I hooked my dad with a fly and I didn't catch any fish, so kind of never did it again, but me sitting around bored of shit, not doing anything, but playing video games got me actually thinking for once and trying to be creative. So we're gonna do a uh, fly fly fishing for the first time creek challenge thing. Gotta get off the old perverts comment. Perverts, gross. All right, we'll hit record. Three, two, one. Let's pull up Amazon and see what we can find. How do we even search this? Fly, rod, and real combo, look at that. Isn't it great when it just pulls it up on its own? Amazon's choice. Yeah, seems pretty highly rated. Do we even look around a little bit? That one's 24 bucks. Free delivery Friday, free delivery Thursday. I wanna go fishing Thursday night, so we'll do the $94 one. Plus it has all this other stuff. Look at these things. We got flies, we got the rod. That kinda looks like a pile of junk, but it looks like it has line on it. We got die cast aluminum frame and spool. Laser etched logo. Why would that be your second point? Who the, who the hell cares if you put your logo on it, laser etched? Put that like the last, or not at all. All right, we'll buy it. Buy now. Placing your order, thanks. Damn thing better come on Thursday because it's like the last nice day. Sorry, I've been looking, I have a little side screen on my camera now, so I probably haven't been making eye contact with you at all. It's not because I'm brain dead, it's because I'm just looking in the wrong spot. One more thing to talk about before we go fishing with this fly rod and I show you how terrible I am at fly fishing. Hopefully we can catch something. Actually, if you're seeing this, we caught something. And we're going for big fish too. We're not going for pansy ass bluegills, but I wanna talk about these bad boys. Wow, that makes me extra blind. I wanna talk about these bad boys. They are Waterland sunglasses. And uh, you guys know I don't really promote much. If you're new here, I don't, I don't really promote shit. But uh, I, I'm blind, I have bifocals, and I've never had sunglasses because, well actually I have had some gas station sunglasses before and they were garbage and they also weren't prescription. But uh, I'm kind of the guinea pig for Waterland and um, yeah. 
These are prescription. And you guys can get some that are prescriptions. It might take a little bit longer. And I believe, don't quote me on this, the price is like 260 which to me, someone who's never ever bought prescription sunglasses seems pretty reasonable. But they're comfortable, stuff like that. Discount code stash, same thing as the sixcentsfishing.com site. But if you're blind to shit like me and you want sunglasses, I mean, they fit well. They don't seem like they're gonna fall off. Watch. Seriously though, I don't feel like they're gonna fall off. But I'll link it down below if you're blind and want sunglasses. Uh, pa pow. Damn it, my voice cracked. I gotta record this again. Nah, we'll leave it. All right, see you in a couple days. Pa pow. Stay. I brought a net. I brought a net. For those of you who are new here, that's a big deal. First time ever. Alrighty. Well, you can't see it, but we are under a, uh, on point. We are under a uh, highway bridge, fishing a uh, shitty old creek. Kind of my style, kind of my thing. Something that's not my style is this thing. It's also shaped kind of funny. Boo wishes it was that big, but yeah, let's check this thing out. Um, I already, I looked inside of it because uh, I wasn't exactly sure if uh, the line was on it. And I don't know if it's easy to put fly line on a fly reel or whatever you call them, but wasn't something I wanted to deal with. So there is line on it. They did good at that. But basically we got wild water fly reel thingy. Kind of cool. That's a yellow line and uh, has a little leader tippet thing on it already. So that's a plus. Where am I going to set this? This spot is a lot more watery than it normally is. Here, I'll put you on the GoPro. It's like quicksand. Most of the time, all of this has been dry ground. That's what I was banking on, but yeah. We'll make it work. Let's uh, let's get to the rod, and then we're gonna check out the check out the flies in this box. I uh, talked to my dad though. He's kind of a fly fishing guy. He's always liked it. He's always been pretty good at it. Depends who you compare him to, but better than me at it. And uh, he gave me some flies just in case. So, ooh, that's pretty light. How many pieces are there to this thing? Two, three, and four. It looks like. Alrighty. Here she blows. Got our plastic on here that everyone complains at me that I leave it on. Seen it already somehow, but I don't know why I leave the plastic on. I just, I want that like new feeling like two months down the road. I don't know. Alrighty, let's see if we can get this reel on here. There she is. Pretty much straight as an arrow, good enough. Kind of push these down a little harder, make sure they're on there good. I don't want my rod falling apart when, when we're catching a fish. Hopefully. Let's see here, how does this work? That didn't sound very smooth. And the end of this tippet deal is pretty, pretty small. That's gotta be like one pound test. I'm tempted to like kind of break off the end of it. So we got a little bit heavier line, but we'll go with the lightest line possible for now. And then who knows if we break off a fish, I'll trim off some of it, but oh, look at those little boogers. What are these even called? I thought they're called flies, but I don't know. Tiny hook, tiny little fly guy. Get them tied on and get to ripping. Lots of species here, um, carp and catfish mainly. Uh, but I got a, I've got a lot of different stuff in this creek: flatheads, muskies, walleye, white bass, wipers. Pretty much you name it. I've almost I'm, I've almost caught it all out of this creek. So we're gonna give it a try. It's a deeper spot, deeper hole in the creek. The creek is generally speaking super super shallow, but here it gets to about five or six feet, and uh, they're pretty much gonna be sitting here all winter. They got nowhere else to go. Alrighty, it's gonna be embarrassing, but let's do it. My dad said something about a roll cast. I have no idea what the hell that means. We also probably need to move our net because I'm probably going to catch it. But I'm assuming you just like, I mean, we're getting, we're getting places. Not very far, but see how far we can get. We're not getting very far. <laughs> yeah, got somewhere. Now let's just see if we can get it in a fish's mouth. Sounds easy, but. We got current and we suck with fly rods. So there is a fish right there. Well, it's at least fish around. Now we just got to catch one. All right, well, hours have passed. The sun's, the sun's almost down and uh, we've tried pretty much every fly that we have. And uh, yeah, it hasn't quite worked out. So we're gonna go back to the night crawler, do everything we can to catch a uh, fish in the damn mouth. We hooked one, but couldn't seal the deal, you know? Came up short. But anyway, tie on a night crawler rig, plop it out, see if we can't uh, get something. We only got one night crawler and one split shot, so not looking good. Wish me luck. Boop out.
Got one. Got one. Super snagged though. Swim out. Swim out. Are you out? I don't know if you're out, but feels like he's a little bit out. All right, well, a lot to talk about, but at the same time, not much to talk about. Just concentrate on what we're doing here. Been pretty tough going, boys and girls. Pretty tough, but we got something. How am I supposed to reel? <laughs> or am I not supposed to reel? I mean, at some point you have to reel, right? Anyway, it's been pretty slow. Tried every fly that uh, that I have. Even tried night crawlers that stopped working with the split shot. Switched over to like, <laughs> actually kind of fun on a fly rod. I have like half an ounce of weight on right now. I know that's like super cheating, but the water is just so cold that I, I just don't think they'll eat it if it's moving. You know, obviously in the summer months and stuff, you want it kind of floating down so they can catch it. But when the water's this cold, I think they just want it, want it still. I literally just plopped it out with the higher amount of weight, like 10 seconds before this fish bit. So sometimes they just, uh, they just don't want it moving. And my goodness. Shout out to all the fly fishermen out there. It is a pain in the ass to fight a fish <laughs> on a damn fly rod. Like a big time pain. So yeah, shout out to you fly fishing stash stains. Mucho respecto. Cause this is not easy. We also aren't going for tiny trout and bluegills though. So I feel like I kind of skipped some grades. We went past like elementary school and middle school and went straight to like the big leagues, which was probably a bad idea. But at the same time, I don't regret it. I feel like if you're fishing for bluegill with a fly rod and you set the hook, it's just going to come flying out of the water. That doesn't really sound that fun. It's like setting into a one pound bass with a frog. Not that enjoyable. That being said, this is kind of stressful. Come here, bud. We gotta get this fish in. <laughs> He's crowing. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? He's on the other side of the creek and he's been on for a long time. How long has he been on? I don't know, but the camera's dying. We gotta get him in before the camera dies. And he's literally in like the worst spot ever right now. We still have like two pound test. All right, how am I gonna do this? I don't even care if I scare the other fish. I just want this one. Oh. We're gonna hold the net somehow. <laughs> I guess with our tooth for now. Come on, bud. Give up already. <laughs> oh yeah, he's pretty big. Pretty damn big. Oh, shit. What do I do with the stupid net? <laughs> This is one of the many reasons I don't worry about nets most of the time. Let's go back to shore. I think we're gonna have to land them down here anyway. <clears throat> Come on, bud. Give up. Give up. <laughs> is that a mirror? It's definitely a cart, but it kind of looks like a mirror. I doubt it. We can't get that lucky twice, can we? Come on, friend. I just want to touch you. Just want to touch you. Oh, gosh. They just never stop. Come on, bud. Come on. I know you're tired. No, I really don't want you to go that way. Please stop. Please stop. Don't you do that. Come on. Come on. I think the birds up there are rooting for me. Are they rooting for the carp? They're rooting for someone up there. Come on, 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, I guess we're just going to go a mile downstream. Damn it. I thought he was going to stop. <laughs> it looked like he was going to stop. He didn't stop, though. If we lose this fish, I'll cry. I haven't caught a fish for, for a good while. We need this guy. Come on. Come on. There we go. <gasps> We're so far away. But we got him. We got him. I'll set him in his little kiddie pool right here. Then we got some line to deal with. We did it though, boys and girls. We cheated, but we did it. This poor reel will never work again. That's all right, I'm not really sure if I want it to. All righty, hours and hours to get this dude. He ain't super huge, but he's a little chubby. Look at him, he's like a little chubby torpedo guy. Took, took a good while to get him in on the ye old bluegill fly rod, but we got him. Dirty old carp dung under the highway. First fish in the mouth on a fly rod. Need to work on first fish in the mouth on a fly on a fly rod, but I guess we'll save that for another day. For now, let's get him back and I don't know what we're gonna do next. Probably just get him back and quit. Maybe. All right, Tammy, you probably slimed up my camera lens, but I'll forgive you. No, you guys are good. Yeah, I'm sure you're tired, bud. I wish I would have caught you on a spinning rod too. Wouldn't have taken as long, but I guess it wouldn't have been as fun. Alrighty, well, highest rated Amazon fly rod. Eh, I don't know if the reel's a pile of shit because it's a pile of shit or if it's because I got sand in it right away, but definitely wasn't the greatest thing ever. The rod was pretty lightweight and nice and it came with line on it. It came with a little tippet on it and I actually had to, had to retie a tippet on. I had to watch a couple YouTube videos to do that. Wasted about a half an hour, but we got her done. It held up and uh, yeah, I don't know. Down the road, maybe some more fly fishing. I guess if you want more fly fishing, let me know. And if you liked this video somehow, even though it's just more carp, just on a fly rod instead, uh, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. I miss seeing you guys three days a week. It'll, uh, it'll happen again. Starting to feel a little bit better and things are, things are going better. So eventually back on schedule, but for now, goodbye for a little while. All right, thanks for watching. See you soonish sometime, maybe, bye-bye.